Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a list, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link in the description below. I especially advise you to watch the one with the relay and rolling and controlling not MC with an Android app. We all know that we should not let a mobile device charging the whole night. So I decided to make a little tinkering to solve this problem. The only thing that we'll need is a relay to control the 220 volt and another MCU. We already saw uh, this picture. In this case, we will need to plug our charger to the Android device. You can connect the Node MCU to any of the digital pins. In my case, it is a D5. And uh, this is uh, my system. The Node MCU is connected to a power bank. The phone is connected to a charger. The charger is connected to the plug and the relay is connected to the wire between the plug and the charger. We will program two parts, the Node MCU and the Android app. For the Android, we will send every period uh, the battery level in a HTTP request. For the ESP8266, we will make a program that receives uh, the request. If the battery level is below uh, 90, we will start uh, charging by making D5 high. Otherwise, it will be low. First, make a zoom of 90% to view all the blocks. We will make the Node MCU run as a server. We saw already how to do that. Now I will receive the HTTP request and clear it. So, if the battery level is below 90, I will start charging, otherwise I will stop charging. Now I can upload the program and try to send some HTTP request with the browser. As you can see, my program is uh, working. 
Here there is a problem with the request because I'm sending with the Chrome, but uh, with Android the app it will be it will not be a problem. To monitor the battery level, you need to download an extension. You will find it uh, in the link uh, on the description below. Now I will make a program that will send every one second the battery level. Don't forget to add the extension and the web component. For the timer, you can set it to 1 or even 10 minutes. You are not obliged to send a request every 1 second. Here I am creating a variable that will contain the verb battery level. Every time there is a change on that level, the variable will be updated. And every one second, I will send HTTP request with the battery level. Now we are ready to test. Now it's charging and displaying 89. Now it's stopped charging and the app is displaying 90. Of course, there is a lot of improvement of the app. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.